Hello beautiful people, it's your girl the alien cat and welcome back to another Power World tutorial. For today's tutorial we're going to be going over how to make cement within Power World. This cement itself can be unlocked at level 19 and you need a few things in order to craft it. You need stone, bones, and pal fluids. All of these are fairly easy to get and once you have all of these ingredients you can craft them in a high quality workbench and over. And why do we need is 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 a meant in the for first place? Well, we need it in order to craft a few things, including the flower bed, which you can unlock at level twenty four, which which improves the gathering efficiency of pals. You also need it in order to craft certain spheres, like the hyper sphere, the ultra sphere, the legendary sphere, and so on. <laughs> so the first thing that we're going to need is stone. And how do we gather stone? You can either Place a stone pit on your base, which you can unlock at level 7, as you can see here. And once you place it on your base, you can assign a miner pal or two even if you want, in order to have a constant supply of stone, just like this. Another way to gather stone is by walking along the ground and just picking up stone as you go. Or you can also take your pickaxe. Um, in my case, I am using my spear, but you can also use a sword. Go up to a high light clump of stone and just proceed to mine it. The next item that we're going to need are some bones. There are a few ways uh, to get this. I even have a full guide on how to get bones. So if you would like to see the full length of that, you can click on the I card at the top right of the screen. But the gist of it is that you can place a handful of pixies within a ranch and over time they will produce you with bones. It might take a, a little while to get bones. The other way to get bones is by capturing, defeating, or butchering pals that drop bones, including Vixie, Rush Roar, Cognito, Loop Moon, Goryarat, Vein Worm Crisp specifically, Bushy, Verdash, and Anubis. The last way to get bones is by trading with a merchant. You can go to the merchant that is in the small is, is, is element over here. Go up to him. Buy. Scroll down a bit and you can purchase as many bones as you want. And last but not least, the next item that you're going to need on the list is pal fluids. There are a few ways to get a pal fluids and I have a full guide on that as well. So if you want the full step-by-step -step guide to how to get pal fluids, you can click on the I card on the top left as well. But the main idea is that you can travel to this area, which is known as the natural bridge or even around here and just start slaying. <laughs> Most of these uh, cr creatures here will drop a pal fluids, as you can see here. Another way to get pal fluids is by placing kelp seeds within the ranch, and they will uh, lay pal fluids over time. And the last way that you can get uh, pal fluids is by trading with with a merchant. Specifically the green one, but be careful because some green ones also just give you weapons and stuff. But this one has pal fluids, so. <laughs> and once you have all of the ingredients that you need, you can start to make yourself some cement and better pal spheres and defense walls and more things. And that is how you make cement and pal world thank you all so much for tuning on in i appreciate it if you enjoyed this tutorial and found it informative please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos every week be sure to check out uh, the rest of my pal world tutorials and my pal world gameplay and speaking of tutorials if you would like for me to make a tutorial about anything specific in the game or if you have any questions about the game feel free to leave a comment about it down below until next time